Hello everybody, welcome back to Elden Ring. I'm going to walk you through the Lanedale Catacombs. This is one of those annoying kind of dungeons that likes to repeat itself. So there's basically two copies of the same set of rooms in here that are, I guess not identical, but very similar to each other. So, we're going to head up this way. We'll go ahead and grab the item in here. The zombies, as always, are our least favourite enemies to fight. I find them to be completely unrewarding. So, where possible, we'll be leaving them alone. Probably not as doable in here, unless we can be quick in targeting that. Yeah, I guess that kind of worked. Cool. So, the path of progression technically is on my right right now, but we're going to go straight ahead. Hit this. So we can deal with this guy. I've worked out with the fang. I should be able to get a crit in three hits if I do a jump attack, followed by a pair of the um, weapon art special attacks. Although now, probably not going to work. There we go. It'll work now. Let's go. Ah, oh, we recovered too quickly. So with the fang, at least we can get through those pretty nicely. There's the crucible scale talisman. Something that I imagine. A good amount of people will probably look for. Reduces critical damage. Oh, that was real bad. That could have been catastrophic. But uh, I feel like the message is there. You want to hit that and bring it down. Don't send it back up as we move back this way. Up the stairs then. Pay attention to this. So in this iteration, these are dead. We've got a big guy just around the corner. We should be fine though. Boom! The Fang can one combo you. And so this is where the pattern kind of repeats itself. So what we want to do is jump down this way. Let's go for again. Zombies rising out of the floor. Have no interest in them. Obviously this looks like the boss door is open, but it's not. This is a bit of a trap room, so be careful. Same rules apply. Whoa. Melee OP! even more effective with something that improves, say, say, skills. Alexander's Jar Shard, I suppose, is what you need for that, and we just do not have access to that at the moment, I suppose. Either way, at this point then, we're going to come up this way. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh yeah, it's this. There we go. Root resin. Basically nothing in here. And then we can continue onward with the zone. Goodbye, zombies. I do not like you at all. Never have, never will. At all. Sorry. <laughs> I'm going crazy in my room right now. Uh, so here, we want to go ahead first. I don't think there's loot in here, actually. No, no. So you can see how it's all similar here. That's down, as if we'd already put it down. There really isn't... Very much up here, I don't think. We'll go up. There's a, there's a big guy again. But I don't think there's much up here. Is there a big guy again? No. No, there's not. Oh, this is the path of regression. Maybe we shouldn't have gone this way first. Yes, okay. We shouldn't have gone this way first. This is actually going to take us to the switch for the boss room. I am mistaken. Oh. I didn't want to get pushed off by you because that would be atrocious right now. Real bad timing. Okay, let's turn back slightly wrong here. I apologise. My memory is flooding back to me now. Loop 
back this way. So the zombies this time will be dead. Uh, alive even. We're still not going to bother with them. They're too slow to catch up. But there is one of the kind of upgraded looking big guys on the side. Oh, why did I not get the crit on him? That's so unfair. We'll take it. Yes, and then if you drop down there, that basically sets you back into this run and is basically how this area can repeat itself and how you can get kind of easily lost. That's all I really needed to show. It's really not, no, nothing else loot-wise. We could have just bypassed this. I guess that's kind of why I felt like we needed to go that way. Okay, so now we can go this way. For anybody following the wiki and wondering where the Halig Drake talisman is, I don't classify it as a part of the catacomb, but I'll show it at the end just in case somebody questions me on it. Although I think this character might have already picked it up. I'll show it anyway though. Sorry, this bit's not very exciting. We're just kind of running around now. Over you. Thank you for my loot. Get the switch. Get down here. Boss door is open. Didn't really use too much in the way of flasks, but I guess we might as well rest. So this boss fight's actually not terribly hard. The main danger is that it's got two blood dogs and they have a charge attack. The last time it hit me, insta-killed me. I don't know whether or not this has been fixed or whether it's intended, but as far as I'm aware, you can't block it, you can't do anything about it. If it hits you, you just die. So, um, bring in a summon. It's going to make at least a bit of a uh, distraction for you, is what I recommend. I might have used a good physic with this guy, I need to work out which physic I like the best. Oh, you've come in without your dogs. That works for me. Oh, they've come now. Right, we need to be careful of these. Is there charge up attack that's a problem? There we go. This fight's over now. Um, it does have, like, a um, cloud of flies, but as you can see, it's really not an issue if there's something like a mimic in here with you. Um, I suppose we might as well use the fast travel. And then from here I can show you where the highly Greek. I think it's plus one. Usually is. I don't think it's the way the, I don't think it's the way of the elevator. Not the way of the elevator. Must be the way of the elevator, because that's a lobster. I've already been up there clearly, so I probably have collected it with this character. So we run past all these soldiers here. We go straight into this corner. Beat this into oblivion. And it'll be on this corpse for you right here. Which closes out the episode. I hope that helps you guys out. I'll see you all in the next one.